Greetings and welcome to Blurbs with Attitude. Yeah, we have the Attitude Games Pack. Attitude Games Pack, top and bottom. You know, you want to make sure that you get that title across, dang it. Because there's not much else to see on here. All right, this is one of those things I don't know anything about. <laughs> I have it. This is the only one I've ever seen. And uh, it's probably not saying much. It's just a bunch of software in a clamshell type of thing. It just amused me, so I picked it up. That's the entire story. Uh, can't find any, any information. Except that it exists in the auction that I got it from, and that's it. <laughs> but like the packaging itself, right? Just look at it. This is pure like uh, print shop kind of stuff. Just And like a Windows 3 wallpaper there. It's like that chess wallpaper that it comes with. But yeah, all the rest of this just looks very print shop to me with that font and everything. Yeah, and it's just two pieces of orange paper just printed on there with some default fonts that you would find then. And they're just sort of uh, stuck in here overlapping inside. It's just two eight and a half by 11 sheets. You can actually see the uh, way that it just overlaps there. Yeah, delightfully cheap. And that is why I had to pick it up because it just seemed amusing. Inside we have eight floppy disks, very fuchsia colored, rather appealing looking floppies. Five and a quarter inch, 360K, I assume, by the hub ring. It's a very golden hub. Look at that. Yeah, these are nice. But again, just um, <laughs> ah, very clearly handmade and it's charming, you know? I used to see these kind of things Oh man, going to like computer fairs or whatever at the uh, like LJVM Coliseum Annex. They used to have this computer show there in Winston-Salem, Forsyth County area back in the 90s. As well as this book show, trade show kind of thing for all kinds of stuff. But yeah, that was at the Benton Convention Center and they had just tons and tons of vendors selling shareware. And a lot of them were handmade like this. $49.95, kind of costly for shareware. Uh... But hey, why spend $30 or more for just one game and then find out that it wasn't that great anyway? Attitude has tested all the games included in this package. They're, they're tested, that means they're great? I don't know. If we didn't like playing them, they wouldn't be in this package. Okay, okay. Do you like the highest quality EGA VGA games? And they're all here. Mario, Joust, Benoid. I think that's supposed to be Bananoid. Sharks, Breakout, Madjong. They spelled it that way, but chess and over 25 more. Anyway, the best PD games? Don't know what that means. Perhaps they meant PC, but they say it twice. The best PD games. I'm assuming it's public. Oops. Dang it. It's got to be public domain, right? But that's not what shareware means. Is there these? <laughs> A couple of these are probably public domain. Perhaps Hogo's Horrors is public domain. No. That's gotta be Hugo's House of Horrors, right? Hogo's? <laughs> Maybe Herkel is public domain. I don't know, man. Uh, darn it. <laughs> yeah, see, there's Bananoid. They spelled it correct right there. Superfly 11 Beyond 12. There's a bunch of stuff I haven't heard of, but a lot of things I, of course, have and have covered and I'm quite enjoyed over the years. CD Man, Captain comic. All right, you know what? The misspellings, it's fine, who cares? Commander Keen, Monument to Mars. Haven't actually tested this yet. Don't know exactly what's on these discs. So, gonna go and um, get them archived, at least. See, well, you know, see if they're all readable. They're in good shape. That doesn't mean anything necessarily, but anyway. Attitude Games, let's go. I'm uh, Wood Grain 46 going here. Let's see what we got on these. Lovely color discs. I still just love these. Look. Mmm. Well, not much on there at all. Gread.me. <laughs> okay. Let us greed me. You've now received the sum of the best games. The sum of them. The sum of all fears. The sum of the best games. Have fun. Remember to get all of the Attitude Packs. Oh my goodness, there's more. Attitude Windows Pack. $60! Attitude Adult Pack. Oh my goodness. I mean, this was only... $50? Why is the Windows pack more? Because it's Windows, DOS is less. The adult pack, on the other hand, that should be $69.95 if you know what I mean. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's 
just down here. I'm assuming this this looks like just compressed files. So it's probably just gonna be like, what? Corrupt, huh? I do appreciate that attitude is eight characters. That makes it quite convenient for DOS. So yeah, I'm just gonna copy everything over to the hard disk, see if, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've actually already imaged these, so this is up on archive.org. The image is read fine. There was a couple little weird little read errors, like at 99% or whatever, but that's not crazy. All the files seem to come through okay. Huh. All right, let me try something else. All right, yeah, uh, everything was fine. It just wasn't working on here. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and... Uh, took the files that I took over here from the images and ran them through DOSBox and installed it that way. It was, it was fine. Don't know what was up. But uh, now, what if, uh, what? Uh, well, I was gonna say, uh, I've copied over the files to a compact flash card. <laughs> Should be good. Uh, what happened? It's showing up. You jerk. Computers. <laughs> I guess I'll be back again. I don't... All right, well, I guess I broke the fat partition. So a fig state is working now. And, uh, anyway copied over everything that I extracted through DOSBox. And here is what you get. What it extracts is just a bunch of zip files, that greed me file, and PK unzip. And <laughs> no instructions? Let me double check. That's truly all you get, yeah. That's it. Maybe there were supposed to be a sheet of instructions somewhere. I guess you're just supposed to know how to use PK Unzip. I went ahead and extracted everything to their individual folders, and there you go. It's it's just a bunch of shareware, which is fine. But uh, yeah, that's all this is. Oh, good old CD man. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna. Nah, too fast on this machine. Even if I turn on turbo. That goes slow, but the game itself goes fast. Don't know what BB3 is. I don't know what a lot of these are. Blue ball. <laughs> Blue balls? And what did it do to my geometry? Uh, anyway, <laughs> I thought this wasn't the adult pack. Uh, the object of blue balls is to get through levels by destroying all the blue balls. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, whatever, man. This is not shareware diggers. We're not going to do that show. I just wanted to, you know. Wow, nice VGA there. Which means I gotta change the refresh rate. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> oh crap. Again, even with turbo engaged, this is... Oh, this, this looks like it would be a snake-like thing. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, let's see if we can find something that actually works with this CPU. Yeah, okay, how about that bananoid? Let's just see what, uh. I was trying to be lazy. Mmm, more VGA. I'm digging that, so. Seems like an Arkanoid, uh, yeah. Type of thing just from the logo there. Oh, what? So click that, I was like hitting the wrong button. This is bizarre feeling, it's like, uh, when you spin an arcade spinner, it just keeps going for a bit. It has, it's got that momentum. It's treating the mouse that way too. So it feels highly imprecise. Yeah, I don't like that at all. 
Looks cool, though. Nice and colorful VGA. Oh, that'll help. <laughs> and I got rid of it. What does that do? Slow down? Okay. This is just Arkanoid. If for some reason when you press... Yeah. Right mouse, it just skips the level? How did that happen? What, what did you... <laughs> it just kicks me back to DOS! Oh, this is a deeply confusing game. Dude, there's a lot of these I'm really curious about. Hercule! Yeah, that one. Let's try that. It's not a directory. Kind of hard to know exactly what these are. Superfly 11, that's got to be Asfly 11, though, so... Another VGA game, but this appears to be 70 hertz. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Nels Anderson! I must say I've covered something of theirs before. <laughs> cool graphics. Uh, the speed is all off course. Yet again, oh, this... Uh, I'm gonna say this is probably still too fast, I don't know. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I'm intrigued, you know, but dang, the speed, I really should... Uh... If you play this pack, make sure it's on DOSBox, it's like slowed down enough, or on a, probably a 386 or 286. I had to guess here. I don't know. Like, it seems like a 386SX probably would be fine. Let's see what darn it is. Solid here like it ought to be. Is your name really Robert Roberts? Reminds me of a guy I used to know named uh, William Williams. What are we doing here? Oh crap. Oh no! <laughs> I can't hold it down and I can't just click it. That just... Well! Darn it. Just, uh, let me get out of here. How do I get out? Let me quit your game! Darn it! See, this is why I don't do shareware compilation videos. <laughs> you know how long you actually have to sit here and like, because if I were actually to try and, you know, demonstrate these properly, that's why this is on blurbs and not LGR, because I was doing an LGR video, I'd be sitting there for like 30 minutes for every game, trying to get it set up and then figure it out. How do you play it? What's the speed supposed to be? Get these input controls right. Let me figure out the... The graphic settings and the sound settings, and do I need this plugged in to that place? It's just, it's a lot more work than you realize. And every one of them is like slightly different and weird and just odd, and you know, nobody, nobody followed any rules. That's why I love these kind of packs. Um, I'm gonna leave it here, I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load one more. Uh, what do I want? I really want to play Herkel. I just don't know what folder, like what directory is Herkel? There is VGA Sharks. What's another one that got my attention? V Sharks. All right. It's from Alive Software. Is this going to be uh, like Animal Quest, but sharks? Whoa. You don't usually see this kind of selection. So, what I have in there is a Diamond Speed Star. <laughs> just, you know, well, let's just. Uh, it's not a sing well nope well not a single one of those options works uh, if you don't see your card in there contact your manufacturer or just try all just try everything okay well you know what I I keep striking out here man let's just try this oh Again, with some graphics mode selections. Ooh, interesting. Super high res. Okay.
What is happening? I'm assuming we're supposed to be seeing more than just color changes. Mm -hmm. Ah, Herkel. <laughs> I knew it was in here somewhere. It's under the games subdirectory. Okay. Uh, yeah, play the game already. Oh, oh yeah. Give me that trippy shareware weirdness. So I said something about saving the endangered Herkel. I think that's what I said. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> so it's right here. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to save this guy. This feels really familiar. Oh no! <laughs> You know what? I think this is like a like a really old 70s game. I remember seeing this in like a, some of those basic books. Let me go. Let me go. All right, yeah. A basic computer basic computer games microcomputer edition. Uh, I used to check this out from the uh, library as a kid. Herkel, yeah, 94. There it is. Herkel is a happy beast who lives in another galaxy on a planet named Lurt that has three moons. Herkel! Our favorite pets of the Gwick! You know, anyway, 70s weirdness. I seem to remember, though, that like you're just supposed to find the Herkel. Because I've played another like version of this on the Commodore Pet, I want to say. Yeah, let's, uh, let's figure out the rules in this one. Destroy all the squares surrounding invisible Herkles without destroying the square in which the Herkle is hiding. <laughs> sure. Alright, Herkle. Wait. Okay. <laughs> So, I can't just put them in one square. It's got to be like... Crap. <laughs> I'm bad at saving Herkles. Not a uh, Herkle conservationist here. All right, well, found Herkle. I, I was, that was kind of my main goal here. All right, one more. One, it's always just one more. <laughs> That's the appeal of these things. Good old Mario VGA here, Dave Sharpless. Uh, I thought this ran on a 486. That looked a little fast. Because I remember playing this as a kid on a 46. Uh, along with uh, Sharpless's version of Joust, Joust VGA. Oh yeah, there we go. Speed is good. I remember being so confused playing this as a kid, like, this isn't Mario! But of course I wasn't aware of the, uh, ah crap. The original Mario Brothers arcade game. Get out of here, you dang turtle. Anyway, and then uh, yeah, a friend of mine got the uh, port of this to the, the NES, and I was like, oh, it's that game! <laughs> it is a Mario game. It's just... I don't know. Didn't know about this stuff as kids. Oh, no! Because, yeah, you can't jump on these turtles. You gotta, you gotta smack them from the underside. There we go. Movement is really weird in this version. All right, well, you know what? I could just keep going and going and going, and that is uh, often what I do with these shareware packs. That's why these are so fun. You know, not all of them are. Sometimes you just get straight up CDs full of endless endless shovelware and like 99% of this garbage. This, on the other hand, I mean, yeah, you can tell that they curated this and you know, nothing but the best. Won't settle for anything less. Yeah, despite all the misspellings and things. Yeah, it's, it's just the whole packaging and the whole presentation of this attracted me to it. And the fact that I couldn't find any reference to it anywhere else online except for the auction that I got it from. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just kind of neat. I like these old packs. Um, there's a link in the description to check this out in archive.org if you want. Uh, run it in DOSBox a little bit slowed down. Or if you're going to go on real hardware, do it something slower than I did here. This is 100 megahertz 46. Uh, it's too fast. So, like a 386SX or something would probably be pretty good. I, I really enjoy these packs. It's always this 
this endless feeling sense of discovery like Ooh, what is what is, they're just oddly named folders and files and you know the fact that there's like well, what, there's extra stuff in here is checkers and hercules and robots and things and just all pick files all this stuff anyway <laughs> that's all for this blurb thanks for watching hopefully you did so with attitude